Of course they deserve to be abused. We abuse like so many animals with our lifestyle. Of course they deserve yeah, to be abused. True. You wouldn't agree that animals deserve to be abused. You're looking at it like, what the hell? Why not? Because that's sad, they didn't deserve it. Of course they deserve to be abused. We abuse like so many animals with our lifestyle. Of course they deserve they to be abused. True. Right, yeah. So you agree with me, right? I don't think they should, but it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is, okay. So I guess with your words, you want to say that you disagree? Yeah. But your actions probably do the opposite, right? What is it about animals in the first place that makes you feel like they shouldn't be abused? They're just trying to live, just like us, like without that. You think they haven't done anything to deserve it kind of thing? Yeah, they give you like milk and like, like that and then you feel them. But like animals giving milk, like do you think they willfully like give their milk to us? Or do you think farmers kind of force that out of them? Yeah. You think they, you think farmers force them to... I do. In that regard then, animals deserve to be abused for milk, right? Yes. You guys are really quick to agree with me. How do you girls feel about animal abuse though? Will you support or... Like if you were an animal, would you want to be abused? Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, well, how would you feel if you were one of those animals there? Because that's a animal from the dairy industry. How would you feel if someone was paying for you to get sent to a slaughterhouse? Yeah. Hey. Sad. What would you want them to do? Get me out of that. Ask for you to be set free, yeah. Yeah. And what industries do you girls think um, abuse animals? We were just talking about one of them. The dairy. Yeah. Oh, like dairy. Meat. Sorry? Meat. Meat, yeah. Dairy, meat. So basically, all the industries that are providing animal products pretty much are the ones that are abusing them. You'd probably like to say yourself that you're against animal abuse, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you know which industries are abusing animals and you want to be against animal abuse, what do you think you can do if you no longer want to support animal abuse? <laughs> can I make it easier for you? Yeah. Let's say, are you against dog abuse? Yeah. Right? Okay. So let's say you went to a town a festival where they sell dog meat, right? It's like, a, it's like a cultural thing. They eat dogs for the cultural aspect and it tastes really nice when they barbecue it. With you being against dog abuse, do you think you should go and buy the dog meat from that festival? No? What do you think you should do? Not buy it. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. Just not participate in that, eh? And that's exactly the solution if you want to say, you know, animals don't deserve to be abused. So basically what I'm promoting here is animal rights. Um, and the only way that we can give animals of those rights is to, like you said, boycott the industries that are abusing them, basically. Really simple, eh? Yeah. So the only way that we can do that, give animals rights, is to boycott those industries. So what I'm promoting alongside animal rights is a vegan lifestyle, because that's the only lifestyle that doesn't abuse animals. Yeah. So what do you think is like the biggest thing stopping you girls from living a lifestyle that doesn't abuse animals? Sorry. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> See, people that don't agree with it, eh? The fuck is nobody's. You know what? <laughs> It's really, really mean. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm showing over there. No, you're not. Today, you just say, oh, God. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Do you want to continue talking about it? Yeah, so going back to the whole um, animals deserve to be abused thing, what do you think is the biggest thing stopping you from living a lifestyle that doesn't abuse animals and adopting a vegan lifestyle? Um, the biggest thing is love. Yeah, do you mind if I take a seat? Not sure? Um, I guess I prefer to eat. Because yeah, that, that was it for me as well. Um, to be honest, I used to be a chef, so I used to be like literally everything under the sun. And when it came to this, when I first heard someone talking about it, I was like, I need a good enough excuse to eat KFC now. <laughs> um, but what it came down to is you can either think of it as being easy or hard, basically. If you think that going vegan would be hard, 
you think that you would be a victim to the lifestyle change, right? You'll have to change all these things in your life and it'll be probably difficult or something like that. You might not enjoy the same things. But if you think of it as easy, you think that it's so much easier for me to change my lifestyle in small ways than it is to be one of those animals suffering for their whole life because of the things that I buy, right? Yeah, yeah. And basically, that's the choice that you have from now on with the, with the knowledge that you have, basically. You have a choice to make a major difference in these animals' lives. Yeah, um, my mom's packaging vegan. Yeah? And she said no. Why is that? Because apparently it's sort of like it took to start buying the how to Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, two, two parents like looking at it kind of as face value, what they think vegan food is like obviously like replacing like having a cheeseburger and replacing it with vegan meat vegan cheese kind of thing yeah that does get expensive but if we're talking about the cheapest diet that people in third world countries eat which is basically the cheapest foods in the supermarket like rice beans potatoes and stuff like that obviously you don't want to have that every day but you know making that let's say like 50 60 percent of your diet and then treating yourself to things like cheeseburgers and stuff like that that's when that price really doesn't make a difference. Obviously, your mom probably doesn't have any idea like, <laughs> about that anyway, right? In that same scenario with the dogs, right? You guys, you guys went to the dog meat festival as a family and your parents said, okay, you're gonna have dog for dinner, that's it. Would you make a fuss about it? And say like, no, I want something else. I don't care if it costs too much or whatever, right? You'd probably stand up for a day. Because, and I guess the reason is because you recognize that dogs can suffer and it'd be wrong to cause them suffering, right? When we can eat something else, eh? Yeah. And that's pretty much exactly the same situation we have here, but it's just spread out through the world, really. Because that one over there. I have there. a pet chicken. You have a pet chicken? That's why I wanted to go vegan because I love her as a pet. Like yeah, and you recognize like, if you were eating chicken, they would suffer in exactly the same way, right? And I think if you were to tell your parents, like, you know, instead of like, I want to go vegan, because they see it as like, I want to change my diet, right? If you said something like, I don't want to support animal abuse anymore, you know what I mean? It's a completely different context, right? Um, but yeah, that's just something to think about. But thank you so much for having a conversation with me. <laughs> You'll see a lot of people who go past there, like looking at it, like, what the hell is this? Eh? That eh? was me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>